Hey guys, so the topic for today is eyebrows. I'm going to show you how to do your brows. I'm going to talk about brows because brows are important and there's a lot of do's and don'ts, a lot of don'ts when it comes to doing your brows. So let's get started. And then by the way, I'm doing a little fall look today. I did the East St. Laurent lipstick. I think it's like number 149, as well as some nice wing Stila liner. So that's my look today. We're going fall for the new season coming up, or it's already here. Anyway, so brows. Now, this is an example of my brows and how my brows normally look. So now I'm gonna show you an example of how not to do your brows, and then I'm gonna teach you how to do your brows. So here goes the example of how not to have your brows look. So really quick, I'm gonna try and do this as fast as I can. I don't want this to be super long. So too often, ladies, I see this brow look, okay? This is what we do not want to do that I see probably at least one girl once a day. Okay, look. You see how this looks like you drew a square in the front? or it looks like you see where your brow started, that's not what you want it to look like. You want it to look more blended. So this brow, it goes light to dark. And that's another reason why you get two brow powder colors usually when you buy brow powder. One's a lighter powder for the front of the brow, and one's a darker powder for the rest of the brow. And the whole point is for it to blend into your skin when you get to the front of the brow. We don't want to see where you start the brow. Like, look how that looks so unnatural. So, ladies, if you do this, get a brow brush and please blend this. Blend it out. Just blend it out. Like, if you are stuck in that habit, just remind yourself, I need to blend out the front of the brow, ladies. Let's do that, please. Okay. That's how you want it to, like, blend, blend it out. Blend it out. Okay. Anyway, so now it's time for me to show you how to actually do your brows. And before that, I'm going to just talk about what to use. Now, there's a common misconception about pencils. Pencils are really actually good. If you have thin brows, no brows, or if you would like shape to your brows, pencils are your friend because they allow you to define your brows really well. Okay, so don't shy away from pencils as long as they have a brush at the other end. Now when it comes to powders, powders are good if you already have like full or eyebrows, you have a perfect shape that you want, and you just kind of want to fill in where there's gaps. That's where powder is amazing. So, and a powder that I actually suggest would probably be Smashbox, Anastasia, same brand as this pencil. They have some really great ones, and they have your light powder for the front of the brow and the darker powder for the rest of the brow. Those are awesome. And then also in regards to determining how to draw your eyebrows on, where to start, where to stop, in regards to that, you'll always start the front of your brow and according to the front of your eye, and that's where you want it to blend out. Your arch is going to start at an angle, and then you're always going to stop at an angle to your eye. So that's basically how it goes. Front, arch, end okay and if you really have a hard time drawing your brows get a stencil but get the right stencil Anastasia has great stencils you can kind of draw the outer line and fill in and I'll kind of show you how you're gonna draw the outer and fill in so here we go ladies on how to apply your brows okay so this is actually uh, my brows with by itself and as you can see I don't have the thickest brows so that's why I do like to use a pencil that way I can create the brow shape I want versus sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to do that with the powder I think um, and pencil to me is just quicker so that's why I use a pencil um, so first I'm going to take a concealer um, this is the Sephora concealer it's number 20 waterproof and it's a couple shades lighter so get a couple shades lighter than your skin tone and this is going to create that highlight underneath your brow as well as disguise any brow hairs that need to be tweezed or anything if you haven't been to get your brows done in a while 
this will kind of help disguise that in the meantime. So just a little bit's good, um, just to give like a highlight. So now we're going to take that Anastasia pencil I was talking about. And rather than starting in the front of your brow when you start to draw it, let's start, well, I would start, or I tell people to start before the arch so that you don't get that harsh line. So here we go. Um, so again, start here before your arch. And then what I like to do is draw the top, the outer part first, and the bottom. And this is kind of like the step, say if you're using a stencil because you're horrible at doing your own shape on your own, you would just kind of trace the stencil on the outer only. Don't completely fill it in because you want to be able to go and fill in only where you need it, not everywhere, because then it can just look too much, like too much. So again, if you have a stencil, just pretend that you would be doing this and that. Okay. So now I basically have the shape that I want, and now I'm going to go ahead and use little brush hair strokes, strokes, and that's the key, little brush hair strokes, not long ones that mimic that of little hairs. And then you're going to go ahead and blend through the process, because you don't want it to look like you drew any outer line, so I like to take it and blend it a lot like so okay and then when you get to the front of your brow this is where you want to do brow hairs that go up because the direction of the brow hairs in the front they go up so you want to mimic your natural brow hair so the whole point is to look like you just have brows like this like when you wake up not that you actually had to fill in your brows you want it to look natural because you don't want to look like you actually do this <laughs> so then you're going to blend the front of your brow and the color that I use is medium ash this is a nice brown color it's actually nice to have a little bit oops a little bit lighter rather than too dark unless you're going for that type of look for like a photo shoot or like the runway or something um, but the whole point is to get it nice natural tone and sometimes getting a little bit lighter is better than too dark that way you can make it a little bit darker if you want to and that's basically how you fill it in and same thing with powder except that you're going to be having two colors with powder and with powder you'll use the lighter color in the front so that it looks blended and then the darker color at the end and sometimes I'll kind of go like this and blend so the whole point is to blend it really especially in the front ladies let's blend our brows in the front please and that's about it so now I have my brows and they look pretty natural not too thin not too thick and the color's not ultra dark, so it's not overpowering. When you look at your face, you won't, don't want to just see bra, uh, bras, brows. <laughs> so I hope that was helpful, guys. Let me know if you need help with anything, any tutorials. Holler at me. I'm your girl. It was fun. Bye-bye.